What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video. So today is another Friday which means Zer has returned to the tower. So let's see what he's selling to us this weekend on week number 24. So here we go, he's by the Crucible Quartermasters. And uh, here's his inventory for the week. So first thing we see is the return of heavy ammo synthesis. And uh, this is really amazing. If you guys have a lot of strange coins, stock up on heavy ammo synthesis because I don't know if he's going to bring it every week. I hope he brings it every week from now on. Just like how they said he's going to bring an engram every week from now on. But hopefully he brings the heavy every single week. I'm going to stock up on some after the end of this video because I don't want you to watch me buy a million of those things well not a million but a ton of them and uh, yeah so here we go for the exotics we got crest of alpha loopy for the titan uh, revive teammates faster spawn more orbs carry more ammo for special weapons and auto rifles not bad chest armor really good for 3v3 game modes like skirmish or uh, strikes sometimes also pretty good when you want to make more orbs and stuff like that for various situations um, there are better Titan exotics like Armentarium, Ruin Wings, but this one's not bad of an exotic as well. For the Hunter, we have the Radiant Dance Machines, carry more ammo for heavy weapons, and you move more quickly while aiming your weapon. Uh, this one's mainly geared for PvP for the Hunter. Um, it's not the best exotic by any means, but if you want to try it out in PvP, it's not bad for the Hunter. Um, so yeah, but there, it, there's better stuff that you want to use in PvP too sometimes, like the Symbiote's probably the best, because you get that extra shot with your Golden Gun, or stuff like that, or Mask of Third Man sometimes, if you run Blade Dancer. So, uh, there are better alternatives with the helmets, but if you want, this is also a decent one for PvP. And then for the Warlock, we have the Void Fang Vestments. Um, not bad stat roll on it. Enhance Axiom Bolt, spawn with grenade energy, and carry more ammo for hand cannon and special weapons. So really good for PvP, one of the best for the Warlock. Uh, I like the spawn with grenade energy. I think that's one of the most valuable perks on this chess piece. Uh, just because every time you die and come back to life, you have grenades ready. If you don't even use the Void Walker and use Sunsinger, and you're using Gift of the Sun, you can even run Void Fang Vestments because then you spawn with two grenades every time you die and that's pretty valuable as well. Even though you're not getting the boost from the Axion Bolt since you're using Sun Singer, it's still really good because you got two grenades every time you spawn in. So that's always really good. If you want a PvP chest piece or exotic for Warlocks, I recommend Void Fang Vestments. It's pretty good. For the gun, we have No Land Beyond. Uh, this gun... Horrible, not good at all. I've gotten this drop multiple times in the raid and stuff like that. And uh, dismantle it almost every time. Uh, so if you want to pick one up, just to have one. Like I have one, I didn't dismantle all of mine, I just kept one. But if you want to have one just in case they buff this gun in an update in the future, then you can go ahead and pick one up or have it, it for your collection. But other than that, it's not good at the moment. And then we have the exotic engram that he's going to be bringing every single week based on their recent weekly update. So that's always good to hear. This week it's a chess piece. Uh, so you can try get your Void Fang Vestment out of it. You can get Armamentarium. Um, Heart of Praxic Fire is another good one that a lot of people want. So those are various options to buy this chess engram. Um, I might buy one or two and open it in a video for you guys. I'm still debating on whether I should use my Multilite because I am currently saving some for Iron Banner when I buy some of the guns so I can re-roll them. So I don't have a lot right now and I don't know how much to save for Iron Banner. And then for the upgrading exotics, we have a Knucklehead Radar and Symbiote for Hunter. Symbiote is the priority in this one. For the Titan, we have Skull Fort and Crest of Alpha Loopy, which he's also selling, so I'd probably just buy it, even though this one's a little bit higher. 13 Strange Coins is a lot cheaper than all this, 
and the skull fort is a pretty good one even though it has a low stat it's a pretty good one for the crow to raid on hard because of that replenish health when you pick up an orb so that's a good option if you need to and then we have the void fang and sunbreakers void fangs the better one in this one but it has a lower stat than this so you should just buy it for the weapons we have hard lay bad juju might multi tool last word invictive and plan c uh, for PvP, Last Word, and Plan C, and I guess Invictive are your priorities, and Mida. Mida is a really good gun in PvP too, I like it. And then uh, these two are on the latter end. For PvE, um, Plan C is still really good, Mida is still decent, Bad Juju is better in PvE because of its bonuses or its perks, and then uh, after that it's your preference. So those are the upgrades. So that's it for this week on Xur. Really excited because of the heavy ammo synthesis. I think that makes the week in my opinion. Because um, no Lambion to be honest is really bad. And uh, we all wanted a better gun than that. Even though we may not sell Galahorn or something really good like that. No Lambion is not something that we want to see in his inventory. So heavy ammo synthesis saved the week. Go pick up your heavy ammos, go pick up your chest pieces, or whatever you want to buy. And that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I will see you guys later. Peace!